my name is Jen. Today I'm going to be teaching about the portion of scripture in Deuteronomy called Kitetse. We can find Kitetse in Deuteronomy chapter 22 verse 10 to chapter 25 verse 19. There are 74 commands in this portion of scripture. There are all sorts of commands. Some are for women, some are for men, some are for business, rebellious children, what to do if you find something that belongs to someone else, kindness to animals, how to pay your employees who are poor. Did you know that God cares about every aspect of our lives? That's why the Bible is sometimes called the book of life. I really enjoyed this week's Torah portion, Kitetse, because it's a little bit like Proverbs, where you can pick up a bite-sized piece of wisdom and munch on it for a bit. Or you could say Kitetse is kind of like a big pile of munchy Mexican triangles. A little bit later, I'm going to teach you how to make one of our fi favorite family Mexican meat triangles. And they're really great for a large group of people to munch on, Although I must admit that when I make a whole stack, they'll be quickly devoured. God's commandments are beneficial to us. They show us exactly what God's kingdom is like. The further our lives are from God's commandments, the further our lives are from God being our king. Let's dig in and munch on some good old Ketetsi commandments. One of the commandments found in Kitetsi is Deuteronomy 22, verses 6 to 7. It's actually quite a famous verse. If you're walking along, you happen to see a bird's nest in a tree or on the ground with chicks or eggs, and the mother bird is sitting on the chicks or the eggs, you are not to take the mother with the chicks. You must let the mother go, but you may take the chicks for yourself so that things will go well with you and you will prolong your life. Out of the 613 commandments in the Torah, this one is considered to be the least of the commandments. Jesus says in Matthew 5:19, so anyone who disobeys the least of these commandments and teaches others to do so will be called least in the kingdom of heaven. So Jesus was basically saying, we need to obey and teach God's commandments not just the ones we like, but all of them, even the little ones. Another couple of commandments I've been munching on are the ones about paying a poor person. It says that you must pay a poor person on the day of his work because he is relying on that income to eat. That's Deuteronomy 24, 14 to 15. When we lived in Indonesia, we asked our workers, do you want to be paid every day or weekly or monthly? One commandment that I had a bit of a munch on this past week was the one for lost items. In Deuteronomy 22 verses 1 to 3 it says, You are not to watch your brother's ox or sheep straying and behave as if you haven't seen it. You must bring it back to your brother. If your brother is not close by or you don't know who the owner is, you are to bring it home with you to your house and it will remain with you until your brother asks for it. Then you are to give it back to him. You're to do the same with his donkey, his coat, or anything else your brother, your brothers that he loses. If you find something he lost, you must not ignore it. My daughter convinced me to go on a 20 kilometer bike ride last weekend. When I was only about 500 meters from my home, my legs were aching. And I had to get off the bike because the back tire was broken. I spotted a small soccer ball in the paddock across the road from our neighbor's property and I immediately realized, oh, they have little kids that play soccer. That's their ball. I could have easily just kept going and thought, oh, well, they'll see it. But I realized, hey, here's a chance to put into practice my newly learned commandment. So I got a piece of wood and pulled the ball under the electric fence and took the ball back to the neighbor's yard. It felt great. We can definitely see this commandment in action in the life of Jesus. In Matthew 15, he said that he had come for the 
lost sheep of Israel. Who were the lost sheep of Israel anyway? Were they the people who were sick or demon possessed? Or were they the people who'd wandered away from God's ways, his commandments? In Matthew 9, 13, Jesus said he had come for the sinners. So the lost sheep were the sinners, the backsliding among Jewish people of that time who were living their lives far from God's commandments. I hope you've enjoyed munching on some of the Ketetsi commandments with me. Now let me show you how to make these Mexican triangles for you to munch on too.